Hey, hello YouTube, and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hanging With Heavy video. Now today it's going to be a review of our first unit, which was Views, Lines, Notes and Specifications. So we're going to wrap that up, and I want you to hang with Hebe because we're going to move right into our next one, which is going to be Dimensioning. Now Dimensioning is a big unit, so I'm going to try and break that down into two or three smaller bites for us. So let's take a look today, and you hang with Hebe as we take a look at today's print and we go ahead and finish up our review on lines, views, notes and specifications. Alright guys and gals, let's take a look here at our last print that we're going to have here for views, lines and notes and specifications. And uh, we're going to go over a few things. This is just a review. So let's take a look here. What is the name of this particular part? Well, hopefully you can look in your, uh, zoom in with this on your computer, and you can see that the name of this is called the support bracket. Okay? And then it's going to ask us, how many of these are required? Well, now, once again, we can find a lot of information in our title block, and if we look down here, we can see that the quantity is six. What's the order number on this particular order? Well, if we look up here, we can see that it's number 63 is our order number. Now, what type of material is being used for this part? Well, if you'll look over here, once again, in our title block, we can see CRS. And uh, contrary to what popular belief, that doesn't mean for can't remember uh, shit, you know what I mean? But it stands for cold rolled steel. So CRS means cold rolled steel. Now, which views did I use? I used a top, a front, and a right side view. So there's three views being shown here. And if you were to look at this, which one of these views would you say represented this the best? I would say it would be the front view, personally. It gives me a really good overall of what this part should look like. Uh, let me see here. Where did I use a leader? Well, it looks like I've used a leader in quite a few different places. Remember, a leader is a line with an arrow at the end of it. So it looks like I've used a leader here and here to point out a few things. Let's take a look at each type of line that's used on this drawing here. Number one, we have got a hidden line. We're showing a short dashed line. These are hidden lines. Next, we're showing a center line. And notice that this center line goes all the way through the middle of this part. It's showing you the exact center of the part. This is showing you the center of these holes. And notice that this goes all the way through the center of the part. And it's still showing you the center of the hole. Next, we have a leader line. We've used a leader here a couple different places. We also have a dimension line five and a half inches. These are dimension lines and we also have our extension lines that have gone down here. So we've used a hidden line, a center line, object line, leader, dimension line, and an extension line. Now why do we use these two different types of lines for dimensioning? Since we're going into dimensioning, let's think about that. Number one, for dimensioning, we're going to use a dimension line as well as an extension line. These are two lines that we're going to be using in dimensioning and I want you to be able to take that with you until we go on to the next uh, part. Now what would be known as a note? If you were to look at this print, what would you consider a note? I would consider this to be a note, this to be a note. One quarter inch drill. Now. The reason why I consider that a note and not a specification is because it's right next to where it's going to happen at. It's right next to the print. Remember what I told you in the, earlier on. This borderline around the outside of the print, anytime a note, specification, or information can be found within this borderline. Okay, so keep that in mind also. How many holes do I have to drill here? Well, it looks like I got to drill one hole here and one hole here. So that would be a total of two holes to be drilled. And how deep is each hole? Well, 
I would consider this to be all the way through, but some people might say it's an inch and three quarter. But I'm going to say all the way through, inch and three quarter. Now, if you've been following along with Hebe, you have been doing the welding symbols. You'll notice that this is a three eighth weld symbol. And it says WPS number one in the tail. It says right up here, specifications in our notes and specifications, sandblast all parts, all welding to be gas tungsten arc welding. Now, WPS, the welding procedure specification doesn't appear over here. That's not what that's for. You're going to find that in a separate book or in a separate attachment to this. But you're going to know that when you do get hold of it, it's going to be welding procedure number one that you're going to use for the TIG welding. Now, I'm going to leave you with a couple questions. Number one, what is this dimension here? And number two, what is this dimension here? And if you would, leave your answers in the comment section. Don't give it away right away. Leave your number, names and numbers in the comment section and uh, we'll take it from there. So, that's our review for views, lines, notes and specifications. Our next one is going to be dimensions. So, hang with Hevé as we continue on with blueprint reading for welders and metal fabricators. Well, YouTube, there you go. That's exactly what we got going on out here today. Notes and specifications for welders and metal fabricators. But you know what I want you to do, don't you? I want you to reach over there, hit that like, share, subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, right next to it, as soon as you do, you're going to see a little bell. Hit that bell so you'll know every time a Hang With Heavy video comes out. And you know I like to do a, a lot of different stuff. Sometimes you might catch me doing comedy. Sometimes you might catch me cooking. But 99% of the time, you're going to catch me doing this kind of work here so I can help you get ahead in your job. Listen, following with heavy has only got one purpose. That's to help you get ahead in your job. Like I told you earlier, if you want to get ahead, you got to be a little sharper than the next guy next to you. You hang with Hebe, you start reading these prints. You're going to go to your supervisor, you're going to ask him a question. He's going to go, where'd you learn that? You're going to say, <laughs> I've been hanging out with Hebe in the shop and he's been teaching me how to read blueprints and welding symbols. So put yourself above the other and you know what I want you to do? Like, share, subscribe and where am I going to catch you? Outside in the shop. <laughs>